Hey guys, J-Man here. Okay, let's talk about this Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. Um, it's trash, okay? It sucks, uh, badly. Uh, you know what's really, like normally I, I did my review, normally I'd leave it at that and go on with my life, but I'm not, no, I'm not, I'm no, I'm not giving the pass on this one. Um, this is what now has just really been, like, been really irritating. The, the, the passive, well, I enjoyed it. Like you, you, you're gonna see a lot of reviews like this, especially in text form, okay? In text form, here's what they're gonna say. They're gonna say, well, I, I, I enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed it, I liked it, I enjoyed it, right? And then the next paragraph is going to explain why it's better than the Crystal Skull, but they won't actually give points. Um, they'll just be like, I don't know why everyone doesn't like it. They're just haters. Then you'll see a bunch of comments after that saying, yeah, it was fun. I liked it. My family liked it. My kid enjoyed it. And there's just a whole slew of this bullshit that you're going to hear. First of all, I've been through this several times. Uh, I've been through it in Transformers Part 1. I liked it. It was okay. It, it was kind of cool. Then Transformers 2. Oh, that's a trash movie. Uh, Force Awakens. I liked it. I kind of enjoyed it. It was pretty good. I, I, it wasn't as good as the first one, but I kind of liked it. Then Last Jedi comes out. It's trash. It's like, right. Just like Force Awakens is trash. Just like the first Michael Bay Transformers movie is trash. It's like, just like all of these part ones are trash. It's like, they're all bad. Give me an example of something that's good. Here's what happens when you see Raiders. Here's what happens. You see Raiders of the Lost Ark. Here's how reviews go. You watch Raiders of the Lost Ark. You come out and you're like, Holy shit, did you see Raiders of the Lost Ark? It's like, no, no, I haven't seen it. Oh my God. Okay, first of all, there's crazy action. Like there's this one part where Indiana Jones is on this truck and then he gets like thrown underneath the truck and then he holds the whip and he's getting dragged by the truck. And then, oh my God, there's this really awesome part where like everyone's melting at the end. The arc is open. Everyone's like super melting and it's crazy. And, and, and then it's like, then there's this like awesome pit of snakes and they're like trapped in the pit of snakes and he's breaking walls down trying to get out of that, right? And then, you, and then your other buddy's like, whoa, tell him about the part where, you know, there's this really cool thing with the, with the staff. Oh yeah, 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 the staff. So they put this like medallion thing and the sun goes through and it shines up and it shows you where the, the thing is oh my and then they're running through the streets and stuff and then there's this cool this cool part where this guy comes with this big huge sword he's like whoo, whoo. he's like doing all these moves with the sword and Indiana Jones just shoots him wow this movie's awesome that's how reviews go this is how this reviews are, these are going well I liked it you know I, it was pretty fun there, it was enjoyable there's some parts that I didn't like but you know no 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 you need to explain to me what was awesome like not, I liked it, I enjoyed it. That's zero, that means nothing, okay? I have my space method, story pacing, artistry characters, enjoyment. That's how I review movies. I break it down. Even if you don't agree with my opinion, that's fine. You don't have to agree with me, but I'm explaining myself. This, I enjoyed it crap, that's a bullshit opinion. That's fake, that's a fake review. That's not a real review. I need you to explain to me what good parts happened. And then, Explain to me how that's better than any of the other four Indiana Jones movies. Yes, even Crystal Skull. Because um, in Crystal Skull, there's still some cool things that happen. You got your flesh-eating ants, right? That was cool. It's like they're having a car chase, smashing each other. Okay, car chase is very standard. Checkbox. Indiana Jones must have a car chase. Boom. Must have some sort of tomb exploration element. Check, right? Must have... You know, he's gonna have his like kooky sidekicks that'll be, you know, fun or whatever, right? Okay, check, right? He has to have a fist fight with some big, huge, so there was like the big Russian guy and there's the big Indian guy in Temple of Doom and then there's the, the big German guy, right? So it's like big, big fisticuffs thing. Okay, check, gotta have that, right? E e right, like Last Crusade. It's like, they've got the tomb, they've got the traps, they've got uh, like a tank scene. It wasn't just a chase scene. Last Crusade doesn't just have a chase scene. It has a tank in it. Last Crusade has a train sequence. The beginning of Dial of Destiny has a train sequence. Right, but look at the comparison. So in Last Crusade, young Indy is running around on a train. It's not just a train, he's running around a lot. He gets to a train, so it's more than just being on the train. He's on the train running up and down the top. Now we've seen that in Dial of Destiny. Yeah, but every it's, it's not just a train. It's like a circus act train. So he falls into different compartments with different like creatures so it's like he falls into a pit of snakes and that's he's like oh then he gets up runs and then he falls into a lion thing and that's why he, he grabs the whip it's like 
it's not just, oh, they're on a train running around. Like, I mean, Steven Seagal did this and, you know, in Under Siege 2, like Van Damme did this and derailed. Like, running around a train is not anything new. All they're doing in Dial of Destiny is shutting, opening and shutting doors. And someone in the comments is going to be real smart. They're going to grow a brain and be like, well, you know what, J-Man? Uh, you know, Harrison Ford's 80 years old. He can't just be running around doing this. Right. Then you don't make the movie. If the character you're portraying cannot do the things plausibly, you don't have that movie. Like, you don't say, hey, I'm going to make a Superman movie where Superman is like a thousand years old now and can't do anything. It's like, well, he could probably still. So that's a bad example. It's like, but you just don't do that. You don't have an action movie if the action hero can't do anything. Like if you look at Gran Torino uh, with Eastwood, that was a pretty cool movie because it was still somewhat plausible, right? You can't have him in an Indiana Jones movie where the level of action needs to be heightened. Gran Torino has very minimal action. It's very like grounded. Indiana Jones should not be grounded. It should be crazy, okay? And this is a rant video, so I'm not going to edit it. So it is what it is. If I make mistakes or I say something wrong, it, it, I, I say something wrong. I don't care. I'm just tired of this. Oh, let's give it a pass. Well, what are we giving it a pass for? Like, I, I gave last, Cru no, I gave Crystal Skull a pass. I was like, yeah, it's it okay, I guess. It's kind of wonky. Like, I'd say Crystal Skull's maybe like a six out of 10. Right, five out of ten is like kind of a pass. It's, I, I think they tried on Crystal Skull. I think it's just it shouldn't. Have, there was no reason for that movie to be made. Um, the fact that it is made, we have to address it. So it's like it's like okay. You know, I watched it. I thought it was okay. I I, I don't hate on this movie. It, it's fine. Last Crusade, I think, is probably like maybe a seven out of ten. I think there's a lot of problems with that movie. The first two, Temple of Doom and Raiders, are ten out of ten masterpieces for me. Before you start getting into this Temple of Doom thing, let me explain something to you. There's a fist fight with a big Indian guy. Yeah, but they're on a conveyor belt. And at the end of the conveyor belt, there's a wheel that's gonna crush them. And while they're fighting, the Maharaja is literally stabbing a voodoo doll of Indy. So Indy's getting nailed as well. It's like, right, in, in Temple of Doom, there's bugs. Right, but the bugs are part of a larger scene. Indiana Jones and Short Round are being crushed. Remember, remember Short Round pressed, stepped on that button and then leaned against the wall and, and, and caused it. So that it's not just being crushed, then spikes come out. So now spikes are crushing them. In the meantime, they're surrounded by bugs and Willie Scott obviously is scared of bugs. I don't like bugs. I'm not particularly scared of them, but I don't want a hundred of them on me. Um, so she comes down and she's like, oh my God, I've got all these bugs on me. Ah, get me out of here. And they're like, you need to save us, right? It's like, right, it's not just bugs. It's bugs on someone. Like Willie Scott is from the 1930s. She's a 1930s like singer in a nightclub. She's not prepared to handle the adventures of Indiana Jones. That's the point of that character. Um, so she's got all these bugs on her. So it's it, it's it, it's really ramping up the tension because you're like, the bugs, but she has to save them. And it's like, we're going to die. Oh, and it's like they're getting crushed. Here's what happens in Dial of Destiny. They walk. Oh, look, there's bugs. That's it. Oh, there's eels. Oh no, the eels. What's gonna happen to the eels? You can't see a damn thing in that. I cannot see anything. That was a black screen for that five minutes, black screen. What did the eels do? They just swam around. Like, I, it, it, I, it's like maybe someone got killed by the eels. I don't know. I couldn't tell because the cinematography is so garbage um, in this movie. And and people just like, it, it, like the excuses in this, this is literally The Force Awakens. It's like this Phoebe Waller bridge makes fun of Indiana Jones or talks down to him. Can you imagine, think of yourself going to an old age home, walking into an old age home, going to an 80 year old man and yelling at him and saying he's trash and all that. Like that's unheard of, right? You'd be a real piece of trash if you did that. And now think that that person is Indiana Jones and you're calling him out and saying he's an idiot and all this stuff, really? And it's like, what responsibility does a God parent have like, well, you were my godfather. Godfather is like nothing. Like, I don't, like, what, that, that's just like a friend of the family, right? Like, you know how sometimes you say, oh, hey, uncle, and it's just like not really your uncle? Like, even uncle, like, I'm an uncle. It's like, what am I expected to do? Like, I show up for birthdays and buy gifts and play with the kids. That's it. Like, what am I expected to do? If, if, if God forbid anything happened to the parents, then yes, I would have to step in or whatever, but this is still family relations. This isn't like Godfather, like, 
and, and, and I don't I don't get it like anyways that's a whole different story you can just say well you know they were close or whatever well they weren't that close because we hadn't seen them before but anyway so yeah we need to stop giving a pass to this kind of crap call it out man like people are like oh I enjoyed it you enjoyed it to what degree like is it an 8 out of 10 and if you gave it 8 out of 10 I need you to give me 8 awesome reasons even if you don't use my system of grading you can still give me 8 points if you're saying it's 8 out of 10 then I need 8 points that are really good it's like the music's okay Mads Mikkelsen's kind of an interesting villain I suppose because he's kind of cool but like what else like what else is so good about it like what is actually specifically oh there's this cool car chase where what car chase was cool it's just standard car chase it's like they literally sat there oh car chase yep got that oh indiana jones will fight a big guy no no he's too old to fight a big guy stop the movie stop production it's done there needs to be a fist fight it's like, oh, I got an idea. Why doesn't this big, huge German guy get killed by a little kid? That's slightly disturbing. This kid actually handcuffs him and drowns him. A little kid murdered that guy. Normally, when big, scary men are running after kids, the kids usually escape through their own kind of nimbleness, and the big, the big lumbering adult usually gets hurt. This kid actively murders this guy, like on screen. <laughs> okay, well that's pretty hardcore, I'll give you that one, I guess. But it's so weird. I'm just like, this kid just murdered this guy. Like normally, I thought the kid would swim around and he's really quick and you know, and he swims through a thing and then this guy tries to swim through it but gets caught and he gets caught and dies or something or whatever like that. Not the kid actively handcuffs him to the thing, it's like, was well, that kid going to be scarred or whatever? I, got, I don't know. There's so much garbage in this movie. And it's, all, it's, not, it's not super garbage, but like, it's just generic. It, they checked the boxes and they moved on with their life. There's no joy in creating this. There's no sense of like fun or adventure. It was like, yeah, uh, let's do a train sequence. He can run up and down the trains. That'll be cool. Okay. Did anything remotely neat happen? Oh, look, there's like, they have to duck. Like, okay, okay, we've seen this before. Indiana Jones always had scenes that we've seen before where they elevated. There's always gonna be fisticuffs in one of these movies. They're based on the serials. The serials are always wacky. You're like, oh my God, he's gonna fall. He's gonna get killed. Uh, and then you, and then the chapter ends and you come back next week and it's like, oh, phew, he got out of it, right? Right, that's how it goes. There was no death-defying stuff going on. It was just like, oh, look, there's a car chase. If you've seen the movie Ong Bak with uh, Tony Jaw, they've got those vehicles, the, those three-wheeled vehicles. I don't know what they're called. Right, the chase in that was awesome. And that's not even about... That was to showcase Tony Jaw's Muay Thai skills. That movie isn't even about anything. It's literally just him running around doing cool shit. It's like, right, why didn't Indiana Jones do some parkour stuff? Well, because Indiana Jones can't do it. Right, so then you don't make the movie. You don't make, you stop, you halt production. Uh, Mr. Ford, Mr. Ford, can you jump over this thing? I can't do that, I'm, I'm an 80 year old man. Okay, we're stopping the movie. That's it. It's like, we don't make this movie. Or you recast it and go and take your chances. Pull a James Bond, pull a Batman, pull a Superman. These characters have been recast 4,000 times. They've even recast Captain Kirk. So you can recast these people and try for another adventure movie. Do not use an 80. They barely, they just barely got away with it in Crystal Skull, in my opinion, just barely. It, you felt it a little bit. You're like, Ugh. but this one is a fail. And the storyline sucks. And oh, the first 15 minutes is pretty good. What was the good in the first 15 minutes? They ran around a train and it's open and shut doors. So what? What about like, look at Last Crusade's train sequence. It's way better. And it's more inventive because they keep falling into different things that have different guys in it. This is like, oh, look, there's some Germans there. Okay. Well, we've, we've seen this before. Like, what is new? Temple of Doom and Raiders of the Lost Ark have nothing in common. Except for Indiana Jones. The female character is completely reversed. You, you went from an, like, uh, like some old guy in Egypt. You got a little kid this time. Different locations. Different types of villains. Rene Belloc is sort of like an Indiana Jones type of villain who's, you know, kind of got his, you know, like, kind of crafty like he is. Mola Ram is completely insane, right? Like, 
they're completely different movies. That's why they're both 10 out of 10, because both of them accomplished exactly what they needed to accomplish with the same character. Only Indiana Jones continues. That's what it should have been. One of the faults of Last Crusade is to try to explain Indy's origin and giving him his father. You shouldn't have done that. You should have had him on a completely unique, different type of adventure, new locations. But Last Crusade having been the last one, we all accepted it. We thought, you know what? It's a pretty good movie. It's entertaining. We like Sean Connery. He's kind of fun in it. Indiana Jones is cool. This is a good movie. The trilogy is done. We've got our Star Wars trilogy. That's done. We've got our Indiana Jones trilogy. That's done. We're done. They're like, well, let's do more Star Wars. You're like, well, yeah, I guess so. Let's do more Indiana Jones. Perfect. Who are they casting as Indiana Jones? Oh, Harrison Ford. It's like, oh, but isn't he kind of old now? Eh, that's why Crystal Skull is not liked, but this one should be really despised. If you don't like Crystal Skull and you like this movie, challenge. If you hate Crystal Skull and you like this one, explain why. Because this one is all about torturing India. This should have been called The Passion of Indiana Jones. Crystal Skull still tried to be an Indiana Jones kind of movie with an older guy who probably couldn't do any of the things that he was shown to be doing. But he gave it, I gave it kind of a pass because, well, maybe Indiana Jones can still do that. Okay, but certainly not in this one. This was like a brutal movie. I'm t guys, watch. Now that I've said this, go look at other uh, reviews. I enjoyed it or I liked it and then read what comes light later. It's always like, why are people so down on this? I don't get it. I liked it. No, you can't just say I liked it. I need you to give me reasons. And if you're giving it eight out of 10, I want eight reasons. And I might not even agree with the reasons give me eight to discuss i can't even like if someone says i enjoyed this movie well how am i supposed to discuss this with them i enjoyed it what did you like well you know it wasn't that bad no 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 what did you like well you know indie was cool okay what else did you like well you know there's some cool scenes there's some cool action scenes what what action scene was cool well the car chase was cool okay what was cool about the car chase well you know they're in cars it's like yeah that, that was cool okay what else is cool well, you know, I I, I liked uh, the, the, the 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 eels. Okay, what'd they do? Uh, well, they swam around and one guy got killed. Okay. Well, I, I like Mads Mikkelsen. Why? Well, you know, he's a good actor. Okay, what else? What did he do in this movie that was so cool? Like, what did he specifically do that was awesome? Well, he, he like, yeah, he was pretty mean. Like, it's just rubbish. It, th this is what we call giving it a pass because we just feel like it. This doesn't have any, listen, and everyone knows I, there's a lot of movies that I don't like. Man of Steel, don't like it. Everyone knows this, but guess what? People came out of Man of Steel like, man, like that action, like he's pummeling the crap and then like Zod's beating him up and smashing him through buildings and holy shit, this is crazy. Right, that's one thing. <laughs> and I say, and that, you can't argue, you're like, okay, there are some exciting superhero battles. That's one thing. And if someone is like, all I care about is superhero battles, I don't give a shit about the story. I don't care if Superman is the real Superman or the fake Superman or if they portrayed him properly. I don't care. I want to see this person who we're calling Superman, this person who we're calling General Zod fight each other. Then okay. But what is it in Dial of Destiny? That was so good. How does the dial function? What does it do? Why did they displace that water? Oh, Archimedes likes water displacement. That's not a clue. Look at Raiders. Everything's explained. Look at Last Crusade. Everything's explained. Look at Temple of Doom. The, the guy in Temple of Doom, the Indian guy, literally explains what the rock does. It's like the crops turn to dust. The animals died. The river stopped running. It's a magic rock that brings life. It brings nature to our village. We need this rock. Okay, plus they kidnap our kids, which is another extra thing. Raiders of the Lost Ark. It's like, how do you find the, the well of the souls? Well, you need the stupid medallion with both sides of it so you can tell how big the staff needs to be. The sh light shines through it. He literally draws it on the chalkboard. Right. It's like Last Crusade. Only the penitent man may, may pass. And it's like the penitent man, the penitent man, the penitent man. And then he feels the breath. Oh, oh he ducked. Whoosh, he ducked. Then it's a leap of faith. He has to jump on. Then he has to proceed in the footsteps of God, the God, God's name. Jehovah, right? Jehovah, which they say with an I. They, like they literally explain. So it's like, you're like, oh, that was so cool. Yeah. Even Crystal Skull, they're in that thing. It's sand display. So the sand thing is up. They break those pillar. They break those sections. Sand starts to run out and then sinks it. And then that thing opens up. It's like, 
Right, I understand. Sand was filled in it. You needed to release the sand so that it moved down. Sand's not going to evaporate. This thing has water. It's like, would the water still be there? I don't know, maybe it just rained recently, I guess, and somehow seeped into that cavern. Like, why is that? There? It's not explained at all. It's just somebody thought, oh, we didn't have a tomb. We better quickly do a tomb. Like, really? All right, guys, so this is an unedited, unscripted rant. So that's it. Um, let, I want to let you guys know that I am on Patreon as well. So I got to do a plug here, patreon.com slash jman77. That'll give you access to all my comic book and movie reviews. Um, and you'll have at least one, or, one month or maybe more uh, early access to all those videos before they even go on YouTube. So uh, if you want to do, if you want to sign up, that'd be awesome. I appreciate it. If not, hang in there. I'm still going to be doing my live streams. So uh, check those out. All right, people, let me know in the comments, man. I know this is a rant. I had to get this off my chest. It was unscripted. So if I said a bunch of crap that didn't make sense or you thought, well, why, you know, I gave you a couple of bad examples or something, that's fine. You can let me know. Um, if you love Dial of Destiny, that's awesome. I want you to love it. I want you to be like, wow, this is the most exciting thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, and let me know in the comments if you really loved it. That's perfect. And if you hated it, well, we know you hated it because it's not doing very well. <laughs> it's not doing very well. Um, all right, guys. Thank you so much. Until next time.